From here in the finder, it looks like a fisheye lens just totally pooped. Hello and welcome to my video. As you can tell by the title, I am 37 weeks pregnant, I am 225 pounds, and I am 5 feet 6 and a half inches tall. I really wanted to film this video because I know that when I'm gaining weight, I have dysmorphia, I have body dysmorphia, and I think that probably more of us have it than don't, especially more of us women have it than don't. And one of the things that I do when I've gained some weight is I do look up pictures of women who are my height and my weight. And it makes me feel better actually because I, think that I am gross and then I go and I see other women that have my same height and weight and I see that they're totally beautiful and it makes me feel so much better. So I thought I would film this video because I know I can obsessively look at these kinds of things sometimes. If you're stumbling on this video because you're doing something like that and you just want to get to seeing my body and what it looks like now at 37 weeks pregnant and 225 pounds, I will put some timestamps in the description box below that will jump you to those parts so you can just look at that. I am going to also insert some before pictures before I got pregnant. I started at about 180, 185 pounds is my pretty accurate guess. I had gotten down to 160 pounds for my wedding which I'll go ahead and throw in a picture right here. And then uh, I did get pregnant shortly after my wedding. I gained a little bit of weight during that pregnancy. Actually, I probably gained about 10 or 15 pounds and then it miscarried. And then I did get pregnant again about six or seven months later with this baby that is my rainbow baby. But with both pregnancies, I gained a lot in the first trimester and that is because unlike most women who can't eat a thing or hold a thing down in the first trimester, my appetite was insane in the first trimester. And so luckily I wasn't throwing up, but I was eating more, more food than I have ever eaten in my life. I would eat a super burrito and then a few hours later I would be legitimately hungry for another large meal. And that lasted, well, I miscarried at eight weeks, so that lasted the entire time. So, long story short, that first pregnancy, I did gain about 10 or 15 pounds, so I got up to about 175 after my wedding weight from that pregnancy. And then I didn't wanna do any kind of crazy dieting because I was really wanting to get pregnant. So I just stayed eating as healthy as I could and as well as I could so that my body would have enough nourishment to hopefully hold on to the next baby. And so I'm guessing I probably weighed about 180, 185 when I got pregnant with this baby, which means I've gained about 40 to 45 pounds. And then the same thing happened, like I said, my appetite was just ravenous in the first trimester, and then it went away at about 13 or 14 weeks, it started to normalize, which I was just like, oh, thank you, <laughs> because if it had gone on the whole time, I would have gained 100 pounds. And then what happened was I was pretty generous with what I would eat. I was eating desserts, not huge amounts, but I just wasn't paying so much attention and people were telling me, you know what, mama, eat what you want, eat what the baby asks you to eat. And I let that get into my head a little bit and I gained a little bit more than I needed to after my appetite normalized. So I gained a lion's share of my weight in my first and second trimesters. And then I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes. The gestational diabetes diagnosis was devastating because I was not told that if I'm diagnosed with it, it's no fault of my own. I thought it was my fault because I had been eating the way I had been eating and I hadn't been necessarily getting as much exercise as I could have and so I blamed myself. But finally, after a couple of practitioners saw me crying about it, they realized and they said, it's nothing you did. Insulin resistance is a part of pregnancy and some women just get this and some women don't and you could get pregnant again and you may not have it. Anyway, so the point of my talking about the gestational diabetes is that they put you on a strict diet 
and that diet helped curb my weight gain. I've only gained six pounds, I would say, since I was diagnosed with the gestational diabetes. So that, and that was at 27 weeks. So in the past two and a half months, I've gained another six pounds, which means I gained, if I've gained 40 to 45 pounds, that means that I gained 34 to 39 pounds in the first two trimesters. So that's quite a bit. It's been a blessing in disguise that I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes because I went on that diet and it slowed my weight gain. It brought it down to something that was totally realistic and what it should have probably been the whole time. And then another thing that it was great was that I was having very painful heartburn with the three regular meals a day. And then with gestational diabetes, you have to eat the six small meals a day. I went from eating probably 10 tums a day to going days in a row without needing any tums. So that was great. So that's a little bit of a history about what my pregnancy was like as far as my eating patterns. And I think that that's probably enough. And we will get into my body shots now. So I showed you the picture of <clears throat> me at my wedding weight, which was about 160, which is a really, really smoking hot weight for me at my height and my body type. So 160 is great. And even at 160, you know those weight charts that you get shown? I am still like just right above and the normal range. I am still considered overweight at 160 in my height, but for my body and the way I look and the way I feel, I think it is a wonderful weight for me. So I am not really very inclined to look at that. You know, it's kind of exciting as I'm doing this video to talk about this because it kind of brings me back. I started as a weight loss channel and it was a weight loss channel to help me actually lose weight that I had gained in a depression that I went through. I went through a depression and I gained a bunch of weight and when I came out of it, I had gotten the help that I needed. Get help if you're feeling that way. There is help, there's a lot of it. And I, after I'd gotten the help that I needed, I was ready to lose weight and I started this channel for that reason. So it's kind of, I'm kind of amped right now to be doing this video. Anyway, I am gonna show you now a picture. My husband has been taking a belly shot of me every week. So I'm gonna show you now a picture of the belly shot right after we found out that we were pregnant. Um, or that I'm pregnant. He's not pregnant, his wife is pregnant. <laughs> Sometimes people say we're pregnant and I'm like, are we pregnant? <laughs> are you the one whose body is really going through all this crazy stuff? Anyway, but if he likes it, that's fine. I'm digressing. So I'm gonna show you that picture now when we just found out that we were pregnant. And then I am going to get up and I'm gonna show you kind of a 360 of my body right now. And hopefully if you're really kicking yourself, you're at 225, 37 weeks and you're pregnant, Hopefully you'll see this and say, oh, she doesn't look that bad. Maybe I don't look that bad either. It's a very weird thing to have to allow ourselves to gain weight and a significant amount of weight. So here we go. Okay, so here's the body shot. Here's the belly. There it is. And I'll go ahead and I'll just do this. You know, I'm probably just gonna take this off. I have my uh, nursing bra on, which just looks like a sports bra, so I'm gonna take this off. Okay. So there he is. He's a boy. This will also be helpful for me when I do try to get back down to a healthy weight after, after I have the baby. So, oh wow. <laughs> From here in the finder, it looks like a fisheye lens, just totally poop. <laughs> anyway, so enough talking. So that's me. My arms, I can definitely feel a difference. So that's it, that's uh, 37 weeks pregnant, 225 pounds.
about a 40, 45 pound weight gain. Okay, so that's my pregnancy update slash body pictures at this weight and this far along in my pregnancy. I hope you, if you're stumbling on this video for the reason that I said earlier, you're just kind of scouring looking for reassurance that you don't look too big. I mean, I, I feel huge, but I know these videos always helped me when I felt like I was gaining a whole bunch of weight. So that's it for my video. Thank you for joining. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.